Hello, uh, we're going to start um, using electric for layout. Last time we talked about schematics uh, in class and the layout was not uh, well explained. Uh, we're going to start, if you haven't uh, created a library, you can create a new library and give it a name. Um, well, let's create a new library, test library. You can call it anything. You can give it your name, actually. It's better to give it your name. Um, and then, within the library, now we have a library, we create a cell, a new cell. So, within the test library that you see here, I'm creating a, a layout. So, I choose layout, and I'm going to call it inverter. I'll give it my initials. In your case, you're going to call it, um, give it your last name or the initial of the first name followed by the last name. That way I know um, that you submitted it. Okay. So now we're going to start um, building our layout. You can uh, have a grid here. You can do Control G if you want to have a grid. Uh, you can make the grid bigger, smaller. And uh, these are the items we want to work with. So you have the NMOS are here, the PMOS uh, device is here, then you have NWELL, PWELL, PACTIVE, NACTIVE. Um, you have, these are diffusion uh, on the uh, N, diffusion on P, we don't use them much, we just extend from here and it, 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 it'll work and uh, I'll, I'll show you. Then you have metals, metal 1, metal 2, etc. Um, we will only be using metal 1 for this one. Then you have poly and this is the contact with poly. Um, so we start by placing a PMOS device here and an NMOS device here. Um, most um, PMOS devices in, in most uh, uh, layouts, PMOS devices are designed to be bigger than the NMOS. So let's uh, Let's say uh, my uh, NMOS has a, a width of 5. The length is not changed. We just keep it 2 for all our devices. So I'm going to make my NMOS width 5. Okay, so that um, changes W here. And I'm going to make my PMOS twice as big, 10. Okay. I'm going to rotate um, this, so I'm going to go to edit, rotate, 90 degrees, do the same for this one. That way it's easier. Uh, you don't have to rotate them, edit, rotate, but when you rotate them you can use the poly as a straight line from here to here. So right click, oh sorry, left click right click okay you can do left right click left click so left click right click okay i have now <coughs> my two uh, devices the pmos and the nmos next i want to have the contacts so the contacts are you are, are done through an active and p active so here for instance i have um, the n active I select it you can see in, in this bottom part watch this part when I select this what it displays metal 1n active contact con for contact so n active I bring it here and I do the same on the other side <coughs> or I can copy and paste and then p active I'm going to do it here and then p active here and remember, well, they have to be the same width as, as our devices. So if I click on this, it's already 5, so I don't have to do anything, and this was 5. But this was 10, so I'm going to change it to 10. <coughs> and rotate it. Okay, and then do the same with this one. Or if you don't want to waste time, you can just copy and paste. But do you and rotate <coughs> and now I'm going to connect these guys so I come here 
on the side and uh, you see this uh, tri uh, rectangle so you have to see it you let's click here right click here let's click here right click here I do the same for these sides left click right click that means I'm connecting them let's click right click and now I can um, make this or bring it closer you see as I close as I get it closer it's telling me spacing is 8.5 7.5 5.5 4.5 3.5 and now it says error so 3.5 is where I stop I can come here I guess 3 is okay but I couldn't see 3 um, 6.5 3.5 stop and I can do the same with this one bring it closer okay or I can select this and say compact it if I go here to tool compaction do compaction it compacts it okay that's easy all right if I do the whole thing compaction it's going to bring this the, the closest possible I don't want to do that because sometimes when it compacts it, it makes it um, difficult to read now one thing that we've not covered last time is the N well and the P well the N well is making sure that uh, the body of the, our device is connected to the same side as this so this is going to be connected to VDD the body on the N well is going to be connected to VDD the PMOS body that's the N well and then on the um, NMOS side uh, the P well so the P which is the substrate is going to be connected to ground so I'm going to make this the same width as this which is about 15 maybe 3 times the 5 yeah and I'm going to bring it here on top of uh, my device oh look if I bring it here it says error so I have to make sure I'm not getting too close okay same thing with this All right. okay and then give it 15 oops 15 not 165 and next we're going to connect things so first of all I, I can uh, uh, simply connect this let's click right click I'm going to see a, a, a blue line which is metal one and I do the same with this side left click right click <clears throat> you know what I think you guys should be doing every time you do some steps you go here and check if you have any errors that way you fix them right away you know what kind of error you did if there's no error it'll it'll, it'll show no errors okay it will show nothing nothing will pop um, <clears throat> so this is my VDD I'll uh, export it late, later as my VDD this is my input and the output is connecting the source and um, drain of the source of the PMOS to the drain of the NMOS left click right click here still don't have any errors <clears throat> and I can choose to either export this as it is or create a proper cell where I'm going to bring a contact for the poly so this is the read down here when I uh, hover the mouse here or click I read metal one poly one contact metal one to polysilicon one contact because there are two, pol two poly and we only use one so I'm going to bring it here and instead of going from here to here which makes it if I do it look if I do this and come here it's going to be huge um, going back oh, by the way you just click on this to go back I use this one first left click right click okay and then this is my output I can I can create this dangling uh, piece of metal here to say that this is my output okay we're done now what we do we can uh, export each part we cannot if I try 
okay, look, I don't have any errors. If I try to simulate it now, it doesn't know anything. It can't simulate anything. Um, simulation errors, nothing, okay? <coughs> no VHDL pro product, there's nothing. There are no ports here, no ports. So what we do, we have to export each part. This is my input. So I, what I do, I just select it with my mouse and I go to export, create export. I call it A or X or whatever and here I select input. This is my input. So I define it as my input. I go here and I'm going to call this, which is a metal connector. So, so the uh, um, uh, one uh, side of the PMOS, which is your uh, source, connected to the uh, um, VDD and to the body, which is the NOL. So this is going to be, I selected it, and I'm going to export it as what? As the power. So I called it VDD, and I export it as power, okay? And I come here, I select this, and I export this as my ground. So I'm going to call it VSS, or whatever, or just ground, and export it as ground, okay? And then finally, my output, because you need an output if you're simulating. Create export, and uh, I'll call it B, which is A bar, and this is the output. Okay? And finally, I can simulate, and I have a simulation here. So, you see, uh, this is A, it's zero, and then B was initially zero, and it become one after a certain delay. I can retest this. I can just come here at 40 nanoseconds and I'm going to select A for instance and just hit V, the letter V, just hit it, which brings uh, uh, A to the high V voltage and that creates a small delay of approximately 10 nanoseconds um, before B goes to zero. I can I can come here, for instance, to 80 nanoseconds, and then hit G for ground, so that I'm still selecting A, so that A goes to ground, zero, so then now B goes to one with a delay. So the delay here defined is approximately 10 nanoseconds. Okay, I hope this helped. Um, again, I hope you saw that for simulation, you simply go to simulation built in ALS simulate current cell. Thank you for watching.